Okay, here we go. This video is the Dark Souls of the Side Assault series. There, now I win the most unoriginal and most obvious comment. Get fucked, YouTube commenters. Oh wait, you won't, cause YouTube commenters ain't got no game. <laughs> Speaking of game, this is a game. Best opening ever, I know. I have a mixed history with the Soul series. I am a gigantic fan of the original and Bloodborne, but my all-time favorite still sits with Demon Souls. I keep hoping that it'll get a port at some point, but I'll just have to settle for another remaster of a previous gen game. Did you know? Remaster is just developer for fuck you, I guess we'll update the textures a bit so you can buy it again on another console. But hey, at least the game's only 40 instead of 60 like some remasters. I guess technically Dark Souls 1 is seven years old now. God damn it, I'm old. Uh, but outside of the Switch port, I wasn't really sure why the PS4 or X-Bone needed one. And then I remembered the PS4 can't do backwards compatibility because, I don't know. Dark Souls kind of represents some hatred I have with the gaming community. Back when I played Demon Souls for the first time, I absolutely loved it. The game was so refreshing and unique, and it wasn't super mainstream. It was just kind of a special little secret me and a hundred thousand other people had. Fast forward a bit and Dark Souls came out which just exploded. Word got out that the game was hard, and so thrill seekers and self-proclaimed true gamers flocked to it. I still love the first and even wound up doing a pretty big parody of it, which kinda snagged me my first big ol' batch of subs and stuff on YouTube and Newgrounds. I was ecstatic whenever I saw gifts of Dark Souls General posted on social media and stuff. I was originally gonna make a second episode, but got distracted wanting to make other cartoons, and just kind of exhausted by people screaming on everything I did to only focus on Dark Souls General. Sound familiar? <coughs> I digress. Main point is, I had hundreds of hours pumped into Dark Souls, but when the sequels came out, they didn't quite catch the magic of the first, and I began losing hope. Plus, I felt like it became a bit casualized as time marched on, and they saw more thrill seekers drawn to the series. I'm a big fan of the way the series subtly tells you its lore instead of, all right, jump, sit down, and let's get some world info on your punk ass. Charging through will cause many characters to die, and you'll miss out on some items and stuff that can provide some insight into the world. Even when you do follow through with some things, some characters just meet pretty unfortunate ends. I really enjoyed the world of the original Dark Souls. I won't talk too much about the fandom because it is getting tiresome of surprise the fandom isn't great. Namely, just gonna touch upon this. You are not hardcore if you beat Dark Souls, and you are not bad at games if you don't. Dark Souls is an odd mistress that if you don't know what it holds, it's gonna spank your bottom and toss you into a pit of despair nonstop. And if you do know what it holds, it'll follow you around winking creepily at you and snickering because both you and it know that it can still cheese a death or two out of you from either a random attack, a misstep, or one of those janky ass jumps where you slip a bit and then just chain into several falls. Dark Souls is a series that punishes you for not paying attention. A lot of the cheap deaths that people complain about are simply from not inspecting your surroundings. Almost all traps are showcased by either a raised tile or something similar. Even mimics can be found by looking at the chains or attacking chests first. It's part of the reason why I like Dark Souls. I was always one to explore in games and I was rewarded heftily for doing so in this. I still got reamed by some traps or foes my first few playthroughs, but I was quick to learn from it and I adapted. Granted, later in the series, yeah, it did just hit you with crap randomly, but in this version, as long as you are paying attention and have decent reaction time, you can survive pretty much anything the game throws at you. I'm not a fan of the term Souls-like, because I feel like most of the games that attempt to copy Dark Souls fall under the same ill-informed guise of Dark Souls is synonymous with difficult. I mean, come on, there was a large period of time where any difficult game was called the Dark Souls of whatever, which was just stupid. It was, it was really stupid. But anyway, the game is pretty much the same outside of some network changes and quality of life stuff, as is the case with most remasters. Still, same fun old gameplay, you fight, level up, and then fight more. I've always loved how you could just mold whatever type of build you wanted from the get-go. Starting Thief doesn't lock you into a dex build or anything, you can just dump it all on a strength if you want. The graphics are pretty much better in all scenarios, outside of the bonfire not having that cool twisty effect the original had, at least on non-Switch versions, and the players themselves seem to have odd lighting compared to the original. But hey, that might just be opinions. Surprise, surprise, I waited for the Switch release, because being someone who bought the original and then the PC port, I wasn't gonna buy it again unless it was something more unique, which I think is offered on the Switch's portability. Because hot damn, it's pretty great being able to play Dark Souls on the shitter, or snuggled up in bed without having the entire room be lit up by a TV glow. My eyes are fucked five years from now. The only big issues I had with the remaster are kind of unique to the Switch version, which has the worst audio compression I have ever heard. I understand you gotta fit it in the 4GB cartridge, but have a downloadable patch or something because ugh. Any of the classic Souls rees or explosions that enemies make are very noticeably disgusting. The other issue is that A and B are essentially swapped, and B will confirm most menus, but that's because it's modeled after the PS4 and Xbox controllers which being a much bigger Nintendo fan felt really gross and definitely caused some trouble a few times where I'd try and fumble through menus or wind up dodging when trying to progress text or to something. 
but the game is still solid outside of that. I never really noticed any gross frame drops or anything outside of a few times when engaging in jolly cooperation. If you are a Nintendo-only kind of player, I think it's great for Nintendo dudes to get a chance to play it. But to most people who have already played the original, it's honestly not that much of an upgrade. If you do like games with pretty interesting combat, gameplay that is molded around learning from your mistakes, and a connected world where you create shortcuts as you progress instead of just warping from place to place from the get-go, and some pretty great multiplayer, then by all means, pick up any of the remasters. The Switch version apparently seems to be more of just a port of the original Dark Souls, because a lot of things are changed compared to the PS4 or Xbox versions. I haven't really played much since the original, considering the PC port was god-awful, so the refresher and reactive online community will be nice. Plus, if nothing else, you get to see Amazing Chest ahead again. Praise the sun, fellow undead. Praise the fucking sun. Oh, but you know you're gonna have to get through me first! Yo, Smalls! We got some more idiots! Oh yeah, Slim.